Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on importing structured data into your Django models and we're going to learn how to do so by utilizing an interactive web-based wizard to set all of this up. All right now let's say for example you have an Excel document um, such as a .csv file and you have rows and rows of data, columns and columns of data, and you want to import this into your Django model, hence importing structured data. We're going to use the data wizard package to assist us in this regard. Now I have made a tutorial in the past that does focus on importing um, data from, let's say an Excel document or a .csv file, for example. However, I've noticed that the data wizard package is a lot more comprehensive and a lot more straightforward. Right, so let's go on ahead and get started with the process. So a few prerequisites here that you need to have set up and ready to go before we can utilize this package. And the models itself is just make sure you have a Django application up and running. It can be very simple. It doesn't need to be um, advanced. Another thing you need to make sure is that you have a Django app already defined. So as you can see here, I have a Django app called CRM. And the reason that we need a Django app is so that we can make use of our models.py file and also utilize our admin.py file. And also the package isn't going to work without these in place. And as you can see here, I've already defined that um, app accordingly here in my list of installed apps. I've already set that up. So make sure you've got that set up. So your Django project, your Django app as well, that you have that at least in place. So just make sure you have that basic in place. The next thing that you're going to um, want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have a document of sorts. I would recommend having an Excel document, a .csv file, for example. As you can see here, I have one already opened and I've categorized them um, accordingly to forename, surname, and email address. And I've also added in some dummy data. Now, when we import this structured data, you could say it was in our Django models, it's going to be treated as an object because that's how Django works in terms of ORM and handling data within its database and as we can view it in the Django admin. So that's something else that you also want to have set up and into place. Now, what I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to base my data here in my Excel document, which is customer records, based on the following Django model that I have here set up. So I'm going to base it on the following that I have here. Okay, now of course, um, I'd recommend you follow along with me exactly as I do it, and then you can customize it to your own needs and to your own um, wants, okay? So as we can see here, I have a Django model here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on ahead now and create a Django model. So now what you can do after you have um, some data set up and ready to go, you can follow along with me while we create our Django model. So the Interesting thing here that I want to mention is that the attribute names here that you have for the model that you're going to create don't need to be the same as the column headings that you have, for example, in your Excel document. It can be different. It doesn't have to be the same. And the reason why I'm saying this is because we're going to learn how to map um, our attributes in our Django model to the column headings, you could say, in our Excel document as a simple example. Okay, so let's get started. So what you want to do is you can head on over to your project and we can go to our um, models.py file in our app. So here I'm just going to go to my models.py file and I'm just going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to copy my model here that I have as a sample. Now you can also add in the same as me. So it's a simple customer model based on the class customer. I'm adding in a first name attribute, a last name attribute, and also an email um, attribute as well, or field, however you prefer to specify it. So make sure if you want to follow along explicitly that you add this in within your models.py file for one of your Django maps. And if you want to do something different with your own Excel document, you can of course um, adjust it as you see fit. This is in my case going to correlate to my column headings here. So forename is gonna be first name, surname is gonna be last name, and email address is gonna be email as I have set here. And these are going to be my objects which I'm going to import into my Django model which will correlate to the customer model. Okay, so let's go ahead and migrate this. So I'm going to stop my server and I'm just gonna say Python manage.py and I'm just going to say make migrations. So let me just get bigger. 
So let's go ahead and make those migrations. There we go. So I've created the model uh, customer. Then I want to say Python manage.py migrate. Okay, so I've migrated that um, that model as well. Okay, perfect. So make sure you've got this all set up and ready to go. So this is going to form the overview and the prerequisites that you need to set up before you continue with the rest of the video. So make sure you've got all of this set up and ready to go. And the next thing that we'll do is we're going to start the process of following through with this data wizard package. All right, so let's continue. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to install this package within our virtual environment. So we can go ahead and copy it. And in your terminal, you can just say pip install data with it. Now there are a lot of packages that are alongside it. So you're just going to have to be a little bit patient as it installs all of the required packages and dependencies that are part of this um, package that we have here. Okay, now after this has been installed, we just need to go ahead and follow the setup wizard, which I have already gone ahead and open up here. And there we go, make sure you've installed data wizard. Then I just want to clear this up and let's go to the docs. I will be sure to attach a link to the docs here and to this package in the description below. So as we can see here, the first thing was to install the package. As we can see here, let me zoom in. Okay, we've already done that. Then the configuration here is we want to go ahead and add in data wizard and data wizard dot sources, these apps that are part of the package to our list of installed apps. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go to my settings.py file. Okay, and I'm just going to open that to the side. Okay, so here under my list of installed apps, I'm just going to add it after my app here. So I can add it at the bottom. And I just want to structure that a bit nicely. Okay, there we go. So make sure you've added that in. Very important. And let's head on back to the docs. And as you can see here, it goes on straight to the URLs part, but there is a step here that's actually missing and that is to make your migrations. So what you're going to want to do is head on over to your command prompt and let's just for the time being say python manage.py make migrations. You wanna do this first. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do is say python manage.py migrate. Okay, there we go. So it's going to migrate all of the relevant um, apps and database files that are pertaining to this particular package. Great, there we go. So make sure you've done that. So that's an important step that the, uh, it seems to me that they've missed. Okay, so we've got that set. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we want to add in the data wizard URLs to our main um, Django projects URL configuration. So it's not gonna be a urls.par at the app level, it will be at the project level. So where you see your Django admin URL. So what we can do is we can head on over to our directory and that urls.py file to make it easier for you is gonna be located in the same directory as your settings.py file. So I'm just going to open this up here. And as you can see here, I have my admin pass here. And what you want to do is you want to ensure that you include, that you add in the include function as well to this urls.py file. So as you can see here, I already have one added in. That's because of my default project. So from the Django that you URLs module, by default it's going to say import pass, but you want to also add a comma and add in the include function. Then you can go on ahead and from the docs just directly copy this um, URL here for data wizard and paste it in as such. Okay, so make sure you've got that set. Great, so let's continue. Okay, now we need to register our model in a specialized way. So we need to head on now over to our admin.py file. So we can close this urls.py file. We can close the settings.py file. I would recommend keeping the models.py open for now for reference. And now what we wanna do is we want to open up our admin.py file, which is in our CRM app. So we'll move that right next to models.py. And what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and import data underscore wizard. So make sure you have um, assigned it accordingly in the previous steps. So you want to say import data underscore wizard. And then we want to import the model that we want to bind the data wizard to. So what you can do is you can simply go ahead and 
just look for your model and you can see it's customer. So it's in the same directory here. So we can go ahead and just reference it as follows. We can copy that. So then, and from our .models.py file in the same directory here, we can import that particular model according to the class name, which is gonna be customer. So we can just say customer. So make sure you match it exactly to that class name here that you set for your uh, model. Okay, great. Next thing that we want to do is we want to register the model and we're going to register it with data wizard. So what you can do is you can copy the following line, paste it in and in parentheses, you're just going to replace my model with your own um, Django model here that you want to register. Now we are going to register this in the Django admin itself, but we're specifically registering our model via the data wizard for now. And then we're going to register our model as usual on the Django admin so we can see the objects that we have. Okay, so make sure you've got all these steps um, so far up to scratch. Okay, perfect. And as we can see now, we've already gone ahead and set everything up. Now, the rest of the part here, I've already gone through, so it's quite straightforward. So let's go ahead and continue. So now we need to go to the Django admin. So you want to go ahead and create a super user first of all. So if you already have one, okay, you can head on to Django admin in the meantime, but if you don't, let's create one together. So you can say python manage.py create super user okay i'm gonna leave it as oh no email blank add in a password there you go and now we can run our server there we go all right there we go our server's running and we can now head on over to Django admin. So I'm just gonna say forward slash admin. Okay, and all you wanna do is enter in your super user credentials now. All right, so after you've done so, you can go ahead and log into Django admin. All right, and as you can see here, we have two of our apps. We have data wizard and data wizard sources. And we have some models also included such as data wizard identifiers, file sources, URL sources, etc. Now, there is a lot to this package, so the documentation that I will attach in the description below will give you a lot of insight into all of the intricacies. Okay, so I'm just going to give an overview, which is going to be helpful for most use cases in terms of importing data from an Excel document slash .csv file into your Django models. Okay, so what you wanna do is you want to go ahead and click on File Sources. Then you want to say add file source. Then you want to give it a name. So I'm just going to say customer records data. Then you want to choose a file. I'm going to import this document here and I'm going to correlate it to this model here. I'm going to inject it, should I rather say. Then I want to say choose file. Then I'm going to select customer records for access. Okay, and it's going to be assigned to the user that's currently logged in, so your super user and you then want to say save. Great, so we can see here we added in that file source. Now you want to click on the checkbox next to that file source, go to action, and you want to say import via data wizard. So you can click on that, and you can then say go. Then you want to select a format for the serializer to continue, so ours is going to be customer, that's based on our Django model. Then you want to say save selection, and this data set is going to be parsed as customer, and then you want to say continue. And it's going to process everything accordingly. And now comes the important part here. So it's gonna detect the columns that you have. So for example, I have full name, surname, and email address, um, known as column A, B, and C. So full name, as we can see here, we've got set, surname, and email address. So A, B, and C. That is what has been um, picked up. Then we want to map it to a particular attribute. So as you can see here, we have a customer model uh, referenced by first name, last name, and email. So that is what we have defined here. First name, last name, and email. So now you can map it. This is why I said earlier in the video that it doesn't matter really if your columns don't exactly um, match whatever mapped value you've set in your model. So first na for name is obviously going to be first name. Surname is going to be last name, and email address will be email. And as you can see here, it's all under this customer uh, Django model. So that is, of course, what we have set up here earlier. 
So make sure you map them, then you can see save selections. And you can see the following columns are now mapped. And here you can see in more detail, first underscore name, last underscore name, and email, exactly as these attributes are defined for the Django model. So once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and say continue. It's going to process that data. And as you can see here, it has created three objects as it should, customer object one, two, and three. And that is pertaining to these um, rows of data here, one, two, and three. Okay, so we've got that set. And we can just now go ahead and say back. We can see that that has been set up, three records, the serialized based on customer, the last update, and the data. If we click on that, we can see three records uh, imported and the import was complete. So let's go to the homepage. And now what we can do is we can register, for example, our model for the customer. So our customer model to see these objects. So what you can do now is if you go to your admin.py page dot file, you can say admin dot site dot register, and you can just pass through your customer uh, model. Okay, and let's just refresh. Okay, and here under the CRM map, we have our customer model. Let's click on that. And now you can see your objects. So let's go to customer object one. There we go. That's the first one, Mark Smith. That is the first one that was added in. Then I have Jane Linus and Kyle Henderson. So if I go back here to my customer model, object two, Jane Linus, yes. And back again here, uh, customer object three, Carl Henderson, yes. Okay, so that is how you can go on and import your structured data in a Django model by using this very helpful setup um, wizard in terms of data, in terms of the data wizard package that you can utilize for your application. Like I said, I will be sure to attach the documentation in the links um, in the description below. So you can read a little bit more and experiment with this useful package. So that's it guys from me and as always, um, thank you so much for the support and I'll see you next time. Uh, goodbye. Bye.